Today we have another cloud storage smart camera. Now this is uh, another uh, wireless security camera that I'm going to be testing out. And right here at the bottom it says that it is, if we zoom in right there, it is P2P HD and it also has um, EXIR, which I'm not 100% sure what that is. It says, the right choice for your security camera system. IP surveillance is the highest resolution video security technology available. All right. It says, advanced night vision mode, two-way audio for greeting family, smart motion detection and alarm system, intelligent motion and sound detection. It supports a micro SD card and cloud service. It supports AP hotspot connection and mobile phone remote control. That's cool. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up and see what it's all about. Looks like it has the standard pull tab. And then we're greeted by a little hole to slide it out. Actually, Looks like a little accessory kit. We'll check that out in a second. And then it says uh, cloud Wi-Fi camera instruction manual. And then down here, it comes protected in a nice little layer of foam. And then if we set it down, this is what it looks like. I like the shape of this one a lot more than the previous one I reviewed that was just kind of like a box. And if we remove this, we get a good look at what the camera looks like. So that's what it looks like right there. It looks like this is where the speaker is for two-way audio. And then on the side right here, if you want to hook it up through Ethernet, you have the option. And then right next to it is that micro USB. And then on the back, it looks like we have something right there. I'm not too sure what it is. Might be some kind of adjustment. What's really nice about this one too, is it has a thing for a tripod. So if you wanted to hook this up to a tripod, you could really easily do that actually. I have a tripod mount right here. As you see, you just have to easily turn it on there. See, it's already attaching. So if you wanted to just put it on a tripod and kind of keep it, you know, not mounted to a wall or things like that, or maybe you just wanted it to be higher up so nobody could, like, you know, get to it, you could definitely do that too. Plus, there's tons of different types of tripod mounts. What my camera's on right now is actually a clip-on tripod mount for my desk. So tons of different options right there. Let's go ahead and set that to the side. Now let's go ahead and look at this box right here. Looks as though it comes with some hollow wall anchors, a USB charging dock, or little thing to go on the wall. It comes with a thing right here that I believe slides into the bottom of these two pegs. Yeah, right there. And then you slide it in, and then you mount with the screws into the wall, or maybe into, um, maybe like a, a desk or something just so it doesn't fall off so you can have it to where it uh, is more safe because I don't know how often you know you drop these if they'd even survive one fall and then it comes with a nice long micro USB so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get this connected to my phone and then show you some footage of what it looks like so go ahead and stay tuned all right, so I got the camera all set up and the app open. Pretty simple process, very similar to the uh, last one. So let's go ahead and move this over here. So what I really like about this one is when you tap on the screen, you get this layout and you actually have a joystick on here rather than just swiping. So you just use it like a joystick and you can move it left and right. And then you can also move it up. And you can move it down. So it still has about 360 degrees of movement. 
So you'll be able to kind of do whatever you need to do. You know, if you want to have it in your backyard or check on your cats, or maybe you want to use it as a baby monitor, um, it works really well. And I think that the uh, little operating system on here with the little toggly thing, the little joystick makes it a lot easier to move around compared to the last one that I tried out. Though I like the other one too. Um, it, it's kind of hard because they're very similar in the way that they perform and also in visual dexterity. But I really do like the little joystick because the other one it was kind of hard to gauge whether or not you were like moving the thing because there was a little bit input lag. But this you get to see like, you know, that's definitely the direction you're pulling. And if you want to take it off of full screen, you can go back like that. There we go. You have a bunch of other options too, so you can record, you can create a cloud album, and then you can also set like areas to where I believe it'll record um, like motion and stuff so that you can actually have it to where um, you'll get notifications on your phone if something like suspicious happens or something like that. But yeah, I think this is a really nice camera right here. And I definitely would suggest checking it out. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the link in the description below. But tell me what you guys think. But yeah, one other thing I wanted to kind of show you guys before we end the video is that if you move the camera up right here, this is actually the slot that you can put in your micro SD card. And there's also a reset switch right there, so that's really handy. Pretty cool, nice and hidden. You don't even see it when it's like actually doing its thing. Very nice and discreet. I love that kind of engineering.